Bearded Okage here, 60 second review, extended review. Let's talk about Witcher Blood Origins. I love the beginning. Because you're like, wait, is that so and so? Oh man. And then you get that we're connecting, then you get the whole thing of, you know, how powerful story is. And see that. The, the reason of the prequel and the whole powerful a story is how, you know, ideas can move people and they stick with people and they motivate people, which, funny enough, I reviewed 3,000 Years of Longing and what was that was about? Once again, stories and history and how stories through history have such power and they're lost through time. So, yeah, I immediately thought about that. Uh, I like the level of unpredictability in the beginning, which I think was our uh, first episode, but honestly, we knew old boy was going to get caught doing what he was doing. We knew that shit was happening. He was going to get caught. He should have knew better. I knew it the second... (laughs) I knew it the second uh, clothes came off. Like, you're going to get caught. <coughs> um, but, oh boy, I did not expect, you know, uh, I didn't expect her, her part in all of the, in, in, in all of what happened. You know, remember, no spoilers here. So I got to talk how I talk. Um, Her showing ambition, but fucking overreaching like a son of a bitch. I knew that. Like, I honestly was like, none of your shit is going to work. You're fucking overreaching. Like, for real. (laughs) But let's focus on our crew. But I love the whole, you know, her and the mage, even though I think I missed the part where a dude escaped from prison. How the fuck did he do that? Because I feel like I missed that. Um, I do feel like the whole, out of the three mages in there, only the, um, only the older black guy to me like really felt like he could do magic like everybody else just it just I don't know it felt fake I'm gonna be honest like and even they had hand motions already when it was just it felt wrong just every time I saw them I like I didn't think magic I felt actors acting like they had magic that was me yeah, just those hand poses were weird. Like, they would need something going on with their hands to, to really bring that home. And it fucking didn't. I, I fucking could stand that when somebody was coming around the corner and it was like, whoa, somebody's coming and they, they were like, oh, I fucking hated it. But I loved our female dwarf. My God. And when they explained her hammer and why she was doing what she was doing, motherfucker, did you not love her more? And we don't get female dwarfs. It's always male. Oh, the, 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 and it's always the same thing of dwarfs and hammers or double-sided axes. And the fact that she used a different weapon for a part of this. Thank you. Going all, going back to Lord of the Rings, man. Come on. Like, did y'all just stereotype a fucking fictional race? Because all we've ever seen was the males fighting males, males, males. But you always hear, oh, the the, the women dwarfs are just as tough as the men, even tougher. Uh, uh, like you hear that shit all the time in these movies when they have the male dwarves on like quests or what the fuck ever. But you never see him do shit. Finally, we see a female fucking dwarf. Finally, we don't focus on the ground. Focus on like them being underground. Even though she does live in a cave, but that makes sense because she's a fucking dwarf. Uh, but yeah, her story I liked. 
uh, to me that made fucking sense. Um, I loved the like emotion. The most emotional moment was when I'm gonna call him the butcher because he carries the fucking cleavers, the fucking meat cleavers. The butcher who, and when he told his part, or when he walked through the the swamp of mist for the first time, and she saw everything he did, and looked past that. That moment was probably the most emotionally believable moment. Well, besides, I'll say besides another one that I can't really pick out off the top of my head. But to me, that moment was so, that was there. Like, I felt that. I love how she went to sleep, though. That was like... You really thought, especially how they talk about stories so much already by that episode. Yeah, that was a great one. Um, People can complain about the CGI. You can. But it's like you had four episodes. Like, the sets were good. Like, I have no complaint about the sets. Um... Because I've seen stuff that I'm actually watching something on another channel that's done during a medieval period. I'm still not sure. But to be honest, the sets don't, they aren't popping. These sets in this fictional era look better than another show I'm watching right now. So to me, these sets were great. I love the set design. I think the dialogue was cool. Um... I loved how our elf, who obviously couldn't keep his dick in his pants, like, of course he gets more pussy, like, the fuck, but we all know why that happened in that moment, um, I liked how they really brought the power of music, and they made that connect to the power of music, the power of storytelling, and made that connect Not only in these short four episodes, but to the entire Witcher series. And I'm like, that's why this guy is here. That's why. Like, you you understand that this was honestly something, though. From back in the day, like back in medieval times and before and before. The way to tell a story was through song and through books. And people wrote about the times that happened then and let's be honest in reality there are probably a lot of things that happened that we don't know about in history because people were like they're never going to write about you they're never going to sing about you i'll make sure of it so that shit really fucking happened let's be honest we're living in a time now where a lot of people are just rediscovering america's fucked up parts in history hey this shit happened so to be there's a there's an air of truth that rings throughout these four episodes and, you know, the Witcher series. Now, if people want to sit there and compare this to the Witcher series, don't. This takes place in two different eras. The Witcher series takes place when it's full of demons and full of magic and full of, full of. You actually get it where there is none. It's you know, normal. This is when this shit kicks off. And I didn't think, but I I liked, I didn't think what would happen, happened when they were like, we're going to stop this. And in actuality, uh, what? That was that what y'all wanted to happen? That wasn't what y'all wanted to happen, right? No, that wasn't the plan. Okay, so our, your plan fucked up everything. Okay, great. I love how the plan didn't quite go as they wanted to by a long shot. And it's like, fuck, you know, the, the path to good intentions isn't always the best. This is a good example. This is one of those things where it's like, where you think about afterwards, if they would have left the shit alone, 
would it have worked out better? Or did they help? Like, did they help more than they hurt? Mm. <clears throat> I did find it a bit. Well, I guess I was going to say I found it a bit, a bit odd that they were in the end kind of like fine in their one little place. <laughs> But then to think about it, how the Witcher series is, there was always, I think people will always be comfortable or find comfort even in a world that's full of crazy shit. Monsters and demons and creatures or gigantic fucking walking naked humans called Titans. You find comfort like you, you fucking have to. So it was weird to me in the, in the thing where uh, right before the end end before our end credit scene and she's just they're just like comfortable enjoying a meal enjoying some music enjoying company like wait aren't there demons and shit now like all these fuck ass things are like outside and want to eat humans but we're okay all right all right all right and just like i said recap I had no issues with nobody's acting. Oh, wait, right. I lied. The mages, the two mages, the good mages, the uh, the black guy and the white girl, I really didn't like their acting. I think those were the worst actors in the entire thing. Um, I immediately knew what his sacrifice was supposed to be when the, the ball of light, I knew immediately when said, you need to, uh, to sacrifice. He said, what does that mean? I knew that shit out the gate. I was like, bro, if you don't fucking, like, you, you really don't know. Like, and the reason I know that, fucking Thanos. <laughs> fucking Thanos and Gamora. That's why I do that. I, out the gate, I knew it. I was like, this is a Thanos and Gamora already. Yep. But yeah, what's your blood origins? Oh, oh how can I not say Michelle Yo? Uh, so glad she was in it. So glad she didn't have to kick anybody or backflip or no shit. I appreciate that because, man, they stereotyped the shit out of her. Glad to see her doing stuff where she doesn't have to do martial arts in it. I loved seeing more sword fighting than anything. Uh, I loved it. I want more broader roles for her that don't require her to do martial arts. I love seeing this cast be so mixed. And I mean mixed in every sense of the word. Like, it wasn't male dominated. It wasn't female dominated. It wasn't a show full of straight people. You know, it was it was a mix. And it made complete fucking sense. I liked it. There are going to be people who, hey... Are you homophobic? You're probably not going to like Witcher Blood Origins. There's gay shit in it. But guess what? Fuck off. Go watch something else. You can go watch a Looney Tunes cartoon. Because your dumbass need to grow up with that bullshit. It's a great show. Sorry. It's a good show. I don't want to say great. It was a good four episodes. For four episodes. To put a story together for four episodes. And be a prequel. It was pretty good. This isn't at the Witcher level. So don't fucking be like, oh man, it's not as good as Witcher. It's not fucking supposed to be. The Witcher has a whole, has Witchers in it and creatures and all this other shit going on. This does not have that. This is before all of the shit that you're watching. That's like, oh my God, holy shit, holy shit, whoa, 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 what's going on? Yeah, before all of that. Now, what I will say for them to say that, the, you know, the, the the continent, country, whatever, has been at war for so long and, you know, they're trying to bring peace, you know, when they were talking about the bringing peace between these, what's it, like four, four, maybe five different factions, clans, and it's been like, what, a thousand year war? I do wish we got more of the visual impact of the thousand year war. So all we got was the impact 
of a motherfucker trying to be a fucking empress and emperor and shit and them not knowing what the fuck they're doing. And then, well, not, not necessarily not knowing what they're doing, focusing on their fucking selves. Because all they did was become the same motherfuckers that actually, to me, they were worse than the motherfuckers they, you know, kind of slaughtered. That bitch was crazy, though. <laughs> she was like, bring back my dick. I miss him. That was just weird shit. Like, what? Did you just kill this family? You think he's trying to fuck you? Really? I hate to say whether it's a male elf or a man. We don't just fuck anything. She learned that today. <laughs> she learned that that day. No, you don't get to do whatever and still get dick. No, 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 no. And on that note, that's where I'm going to leave you. I like to end all my reviews with dick as the conversation <laughs> at four in the fucking morning but Witcher Blood Origins on Netflix it's worth watching man it's not Witcher it's a prequel so you, a lot of shit's not gonna be in there it's different you're not getting a whole bunch of magic and shit as you're gonna get in the original understand that if you can understand that you can enjoy the prequel if you can't you want to bitch about it. It's four fucking episodes. Like, it's probably shorter than fucking Avatar way in order, let's be honest. Watch it. Check it out. <laughs>